A guide to choosing the right laser engraver for wood cutting and crafts. Do you enjoy working with wood and want to take your craftsmanship to the next level? A laser engraver for wood cutting and crafts could be just the tool you need to create intricate designs and achieve precise cuts. However, with so many options available, it can be tough to know what to look for when making your purchase. In this video, we'll walk you through the key factors to consider when buying a laser engraver for wood cutting and crafts. From power and size to software compatibility and safety features, we've got you covered. So, let's dive in and discover how to choose the perfect laser engraver for your woodworking projects. 1. Price. Wood is one of the easiest materials to laser cut, so if you wanted to go really cheap, you could. Most diode lasers cost under $1,000. Diode lasers are cheap and are excellent for cutting wood, so they're ideal if you're starting a new business. I recommend the Xtool D1 Pro range, and I myself opted for the Xtool D1 Pro 20 watt version for my wood cutting. I think it's slightly better than my Ortier Laser Master 3 for wood, but both are great and both sit at $600 to $700. However, CO2 lasers in the 45W range and above cut wood far faster than diode lasers. However, these lasers cost a lot more. Upwards of $2,500 for OM Tech machines, and $3,000 to $7,000 for Muse, Glowforge and similar machines. One last tip. If you're buying a diode laser, make sure you don't buy an IR laser module by mistake. It has to be a blue laser diode if you want to laser cut wood, though IR lasers are great for metal and glass engraving. 2. Wood Thickness and Laser Power. Your laser's power determines the thickness of wood you can cut with a single pass. Woods that are thicker than one half are generally not suitable for laser cutting. But the wood thickness you can cut also depends on the type of wood and laser power. Diode lasers generally have lower power in general, but lasers like the Xtool D120 Watt and Ne3 Max can both cut thicker wood in one pass than most other 10 watt and 5 watt diode lasers. On the other hand, to cut a similar thickness of wood with CO2 lasers, choose at least 40W of power. CO2 lasers will also cut wood faster than diode lasers. 3. Work Area and Extendability What size of wood do you want to cut? That depends on your projects. Are you making signs, or are you making small home decorative items? You'll need a larger work area to cut bigger designs out of wood sheets. But, there are also three ways for a laser to handle larger working areas. Extension kits. Pass-through doors. Removable floors, engraving only. Some lasers offer extension kits to increase your work area and help you cut larger wood sheets. These are diode lasers that don't come with an enclosure. 4. Enclosure and fume extraction. Laser cutting wood produces toxic fumes and gas, so it's best to use an enclosure on diode lasers that don't come with one, or at least keep them in a well-ventilated area. An enclosure allows you to use fume extractors to direct the fumes out a window. Air filters also allow you to cut wood without a fume extractor. 5. Ease of use. Emergency stops, pause buttons, red dot pointers, Wi-Fi connectivity, and other conveniences can also enhance your woodcutting experience. 6. Rotary. You don't need a rotary if you're only cutting wood sheets. However, if you're making decorative cylindrical wooden crafts, you'll need a laser with a rotary add-on option. All the lasers I recommend on this buyer's guide support rotary attachments, except for Glowforge. 7. Cooling system. Cooling systems are more important for CO2 lasers than diode lasers. Allowing you to run them for longer hours, some lasers support external cooling systems and radiator water chillers. If you're planning to use your CO2 laser for several hours each day, you'll need an effective cooling system. 8. Compatibility and Software Connectivity To avoid issues, ensure your laser is compatible with your software and computer of choice for seamless workplace integration. For example, popular OM Tech K4040W lasers are not compatible with Lightburn which is a favorite laser software among many homemakers. We hope this video helped answer your questions. If so, give us a like and follow us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will see you in the next video.